Now, this is something that I've, I've not had so far in season eight of the podcast, the quick fire questions, but I wanted to bring it back and I wanted to give it a little bit of a coronavirus little twist and tweak yeah, to yeah. it. So, so number one, if you could be on lockdown or in isolated with one celebrity, who would it be? So I'm not massively into celebrity, but I was thinking about this beforehand. I think, I think I'd probably go for Gina Miller. I don't know if everyone knows who she is, but she's uh, some, someone that is, uh, has campaigned very well to keep the government in check in the UK or over Brexit. We share a similar political belief and uh, I'm a big fan. A nice little one to pick her brains or just to have in your corner. Yeah, I think pick, pick, pick her brains made my wife listening. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so if there is one movie or series that you've had on that to-do list yeah. to watch list netflix or wherever but you haven't had the best chance to do so and obviously you've got you've got kids so you may not have had that chance to do so but what has been on the on the to watch list on netflix or, or disney or sky or so, yeah so so ozark i don't know if people have been watching that on netflix i'm pretty into ozark i've seen the first series there's now just a third one released i've got all of season two and season three and actually i was pretty excited i think we've got three three customers in the place Ozark people have watched it they'll know they'll know what that means so yeah I have seen that I, I haven't I haven't checked it out yet but uh, yeah. Ozark is on the list what is the one thing that you have missed being since you've been on lockdown so it could be a trip to a coffee shop it could be just you know walking <laughs> in general the one thing the, the one main thing that you have missed the most since being done on lockdown freedom I think I think for me I love getting out with the kids going on bike rides and stuff and I think that you know like like I think go, go, like going on a long bike ride with the kids we're missing massively obviously in theory you can go for an hour's uh, an hour's exercise but it's pretty challenging trying to explain to your five-year-old that look, if you see a person you've got to be you know two meters apart because it's the reverse of what you're brought up to do if you see someone you're meant to cross the road right so you're almost like having to teach them a social social change i think that's all it's horrendous right it's, it's like doing exercise but without being judged for doing it you yeah, know yeah, totally. i've never exactly. i've never yeah. seen so many people just uh, just like second like judging people while they are exercising yeah. it's insane but yeah, I totally get that. Being able to leave and, you know, kids are just so sociable as it is. My four-year-old asks everybody what the name is, who, you know, how are they and stuff. So it's like one of them. It's, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's a bit of a mad time. What has been your best purchase under a hundred pound in the past six months? It's actually been the last two weeks. So this is obviously quite amusing and personal for this time. So it's definitely toilet roll. So I can tell you in my house, my kids were not happy about reverting to kitchen roll in the toilet. So when I found some kitchen roll, let me tell you, it was nowhere near a hundred pounds, but I probably would have paid a hundred pounds at that yes. point. I, uh, I like that. I like that. Uh, okay. So do you have a favorite podcast or a YouTube channel yeah. that, that you go to? I've got a, cu a cu couple, but my, 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 my tastes are either high or low. So probably my favorite podcast, probably the Guardian Politics pod podcast, or it's a number of which I won't go into of 80s football podcast. So either I'm up or down, depending on where, on where, <laughs> where we're sitting. Football, it's, 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 a, it's a mad one. I'm, I'm a big Liverpool fan, but I haven't really thought about football probably in the last uh, couple well, of weeks. Today, actually, it was my son's uh, fifth birthday on, uh, uh, on Sunday and the present didn't turn up, but his, his first QPR kit turned up today which he's pretty excited about. Yeah, I'm looking forward to when all of this is over and you've got a little release, like sport, be a, a big release Everyone, and just be, yeah. be, to be able to get back a bit to bit of normality, get get a, get football back, yeah, yeah. however or whatever football looks like when, when this all does come back. And uh, okay, final one, and it's a question that I ask everybody, every guest. You could give one bit of advice to a hospitality owner watching this right now, especially when it comes to boosting their direct beckons. What would be that, that one bit? Of the advice? biggest advice is, any business that does not own their own customers ultimately is in a perilous position. And we've seen this as what, what has happened in this particular horrendous incident. The biggest advice I can give you is you have to understand if you, all the OTAs are acquisition channels, that's all they are, right? They, you get a booking, but that booking is an acquisition and that, it's up to you what you do after that acquisition. Good businesses turn that acquisition into multiple purchases. Bad businesses just let that go and just continue to rely on that one time OTA acquisition channel. So the biggest thing is look at your business and just think, how can I turn this OTA booking into either a future direct booking or an advocate? They're the two things you should look to do. And actually, those two things should be more important than the review, thinking about review on the OTA side. Because once you've got 500 five-star reviews, at that point, you really start thinking past that. People are going to book after you see volume of good reviews. 
and start thinking about how do you turn that into a future direct booking. Any hospitality host, owner, pro- property manager has, has seen from the last two weeks, three weeks, is you cannot build your house on someone else's land. Airbnb have proved it. Booking.com have p- p- proved it, have how they've treated hosts. So you've got to, got to, got to. If your one mission will be for the rest of 2020 is figure out how you are going to get an increase in your direct bookings. We have hosts watching this who have 100% direct bookings they are lucky they don't have to rely on OTAs but we have people who watch and listen to this that rely heavily 90% plus on third parties to bring in their bookings so if you do one thing start building your email list start building your direct bookings get a better website and you know this if this happens again whatever this is then uh, yeah hopefully you'll be protected because you'll have that guest you'll have that direct booking henry really really appreciate it coming on on to this yourwelcome.com or just google your welcome tablet please 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 do go check it out it is a it is a fantastic service it is a fantastic idea and i know that there are a lot of people in the boostly world use your welcome i know there are a lot of people in the hospitality community that use them and, and the other channels that in the groups that i'm i'm in i know they use them and it is a, 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 one of those things that you can just simply Simply do to increase your guest experience that will have massive dividends in the future as in direct bookings or extra revenue. So do, do check them out. And thank you everybody for tuning in. Please do me one massive favor before you go, tell a friend. So to share this video, whether it's live or on the replay, share it with friends, send it in an email, uh, share it on your social media, share it in Facebook groups, LinkedIn, wherever you are, just tell one person about it. Tell them about we're doing live videos every night in April to help the hospitality industry about bounce back from the coronavirus. And if you are listening to this on the podcast, I need you to do me one favor. Go to where you listen to your podcasts and subscribe and then leave a review. So rate and review it. Because when you do, I can always see that the viewing figures go up and up and we go up and up in the, in the chat. We are filtering around the top 30 in the UK in the management podcast. Random category to be in, but whenever we get reviews, we go higher up that list. So please, please do that for me. And we'll be back tomorrow, 2nd of April for another live video. Uh, until then, thank you so much for everybody for tuning in and I'll see you on the other side.